Hi, uh, thank you so much for listening in. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about one of the questions that I got from one of our clients. And obviously, I got lots and lots of questions during the 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 year about different things. And one of the things that I was asked about was um, HST residential rebate uh, or new housing residential rental rebate. It's in particular. So when you purchase a new rental property, brand new, newly constructed rental property, you pay HST. And typically speaking, um, the builder would require you to sign a document declaring that you're moving in um, so that you qualify, they qualify to claim the residential rebate on behalf of you. And you, typically speaking, the sale price would incorporate the rebate that they are uh, assuming that they would get. So meaning that if you meaning that if you're moving in, you assign a rebate to them, you're paying less. So you will be uh, pay the, the sale price that they give you would be a lower amount. Now, um, if you are buying a property that you attack, a brand new property that you intend to rent out and you are going to rent it out immediately at closing, then you are not qualified to claim the HST rebate and you're not qualified to tell your builder that you are moving in. So you would have to pay an additional, the additional re HST rebate amount. Now, the question that I got is that um, when you, so let's go back a little bit, but the when you are not eligible to claim the HST rebate um, through the builder, you're still eligible to claim the HST rebate by yourself with a one year lease. So doesn't mean that you are truly out of pocket for that additional $24,000 rebate, but you it's just that the way that you're getting it back is through a different application, through a different avenue. You still can get the money back and you need to, the only way you can get it back is through the, the, um, the one year lease with someone. You need to sign a one year lease with someone. Now, um, so the question is, well, can I claim that I am moving into a newly constructed home so that I can avoid paying the 24K HST rebate upfront? Um, understanding that, um, uh, obviously, I'm a licensed charter accountant, although I am fully into um, being a bit more aggressive on your tax return and let them catch you, uh, in this particular case, I would not recommend you to do it. Now, the client asked me what are the odds that I will get caught. Well, if you go to Google, go go Google and uh, you type in CLA real estate audit, uh, pretty much the first link that pop up is uh, CLA's website. And if you look at the CLA website, um, if you look at CLA's website, um, uh, statistics they have been having this page since i think 2016 2017 when they started the audit initiatives on real estate in ontario and bc and you could tell that they are they've already recovered 504 million dollars from all these um audit initiatives and out of the 504 million dollars 331 million dollars were just on gst hst new housing and new residential rental property rebate so which means that if you sign the intention at the time of closing that you're moving in, passing the right to the builder to saying that you are, you are, um, you're moving into the property, but you turn around and rent out the property, you would be able to. Um, you are falling under this category. Um, you are not eligible to claim the new housing rebate, but instead, you if you rent it out with a one-year lease, you are eligible to claim the new residential rental property rebate, which you will have to apply separately to get it, and you put the money up front. And they are going hard after these people who claim that they're moving in. Um, I read court cases basically once a week on doing the blog post, um, I need to do a lot of research before I can do the blog post. And to me, um, I see on average these new housing rebate court cases. We're talking about court cases, meaning that people fight against the ruling all the way to, um, I think, as this happens as often as like once every two, three months. But understanding that like a lot of people just pay it back. Um, um, they don't fight against the ruling and um, 
the reason why people CIA is going after this type of new housing residential rebate is because it's lower hanging fruit for them. If you think about it, um, you move, you go in, you don't, sorry, you claim that you are moving in, uh, you're not really moving in, your tenants moving in, and your tenants change all the um, home address to this new location, and they do a match in the back end and automatically identify these people are the ones that are not moving in. Or if you sell the property um, within a year, and you claim that you moved in, chances are you're not, you didn't really move in, you really did a flip, and then you still don't qualify for the new housing rebate. Um, so all these things, it's easy for them to um, go after you for the $24,000. And that's why they're going hard at um, claiming, uh, going hard at auditing the new residential rental rebate. So to answer, go, going back to your question, um, chances are you're going to get caught. Um, it's just a matter of time. And I've got clients who... Uh, I've got client who got a letter saying that while well, you never moved into this property, you need to pay me back the $24,000 plus interest and penalty on top of it. And the risk is that, well, technically speaking, you pay it back and then you reapply the money. It's easy. You can still get the money back. What the outlay is, is the dollar value is the $3,000, a penalty and interest that you would get. Um, but the challenge is that there is a deadline on applying for the new housing residential rental rebate. And that deadline is two years after closing. So a lot of, in a lot of cases, what happened is that CIA doesn't audit you and doesn't send you the audit letter until maybe a year and a year and a half after closing. And by that time, or even two years after closing, by that time, you look at your, um, you have to pay it back because you never, you never, you never moved in. So you don't qualify to claim the new housing rebate that you are supposed to move in, the owner occupy rebate. And, but the deadline to get the rental rebate is passed because you only have two years to apply. And then you essentially are out of pocket for $27,000, which you would, if you file it right, you would be able to get it back within uh, three months after closing, assuming that you have a long-term lease in place. And like I mentioned before, there's a bunch of ongoing court cases that happened uh, once in a while, and there are it goes really ridiculous, the position that CLA is taking on these HST residential rebate. They're really aggressive. So it is not when it it is not if you will ever get audited. It is when you get audited if you do this. Um, um, so the moral of the story, pay for the HSD upfront um, is $24,000 to $30,000 at the time of closing. Apply to get the money back with a one-year lease. And, and then the money will be deposited back to your account in three months. Until next time, happy Canadian real estate investing.